What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'm going to show you a simple method on how to draw Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from Dragon Ball. Let's begin today's lesson on the bottom center of our page with the bottom edge of the brow. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. I'm going to draw a straight angle line. Going up and then out. Let's line up the inside on the right and do the same thing. Just drawing that same length line. Now on the ends, we're just going to bend this around and then down. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow, coming in and then up in the middle. Now in between these two points, we're going to connect it with a curve, coming down and up. And then in the center, we're just going to split this with one small line. Let's flatten off the outside of the eyebrows with a straight angle line going up and in. Now I want to taper the eyebrows coming down towards the inside. So we're going to bend this in and then down. Let's enhance the brow with a fold along the top. Leave a gap in the center, start over on the left, bend this up and out. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now from here, I'm going to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting on the top left of this curve, angle this down and in towards the bottom on both sides. Now from the inside of the brow, draw a short angle line coming down and out. Connect the outside to the inside with a curve, coming in and then bending that down. Let's tuck the pupils in underneath the brow. Starting back over on the left, draw a half circle, coming down and then up, and we'll line that up on the right side. Let's add some shading underneath the eyes, starting on the left, bend this in and down, step back, draw another one. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's go to the center just underneath the brow, draw a straight line coming down toward the tip of the nose. And then from the tip, draw two straight angle lines going up and out. And then on the left side, bend this in and then up towards the top of that center line. Now I'm going to shift the mouth so it's a little bit higher on the right side. So let's start back over on the left, bend this across and then up. Pull the corner of the mouth coming down, do the same thing on the left, and then in the center, step down, draw a curve for the lower lip. Let's add a small bracket on the right side. Now from here we're going to move out to the side and draw the head sloping in towards the jaw. Let's line up at the top of the eyebrow, over on the left, draw a straight angle line, coming down and in towards the jaw. Line up with the right side and do the same thing, coming down and then in. Let's round up the jaw, draw a straight line coming down and in towards the chin. Let's round up the chin and go up and out towards the right. Let's go back up to the temples, curve the hairline going up and in to our point on the inside. Then this out and up. Let's pull this up and in towards the top of the hairline. And then from here we'll bend this in and then down towards the center of the forehead. Let's come in, bring that down, go up and out. And I also want to add a fold along the side of the temples. Let's start from this point, we'll step down, bend this in and then up on both sides. And now we're going to place the ears on the side of the head. Let's start from this point, then the ear going up and out. Now you can draw two more curves coming back in towards the side of the head. Start by going out and then down. Then this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's add a fold along the top of the ear, going up and out. Then bend this down. Now along the inside, we draw a hook, going out and back in. Now once we've completed the face, let's move up and draw those layers of hair along the top. We we'll start on the left side of the hairline, start with a curve, going out and then up. Now this is where I want to bend it over towards the right. We we'll go up and across towards the right. 
Now from this point, we want to wave it back down and then in. Come in, then this out, and then that back in towards the same height. Let's add two large spikes along the side, starting on the left, then this out and up. Let's line this up on the right side. Now add two bends coming back in towards the temples. Go out and then down. I'm just gonna bend this in, leaving a gap along the inside. Let's add two more spikes along the side. From this point, we're gonna step down, bend this out and up. I'm gonna bend this out and then down. Now let's bend this back in towards the side of the ears. Let's add two small points along the side of the ear. Bend this out and up. And then taper that down and then in towards the bottom of the ears. Now let's go back and fill those large gaps along the top. Starting from this point, we're gonna step down, go out and then up. Now we're gonna bend this out and then down in behind on the right side. Let's add one more large spike in the center. We're gonna start over on the left, bend this out and then up. Now we're gonna bend this up and over towards the right, towards the center of our page. Let's bend this down and across, just tucking that in behind. Now that we've drawn the contours of the hair, we wanna go ahead and add some texture. Let's start with that center piece. Starting from the top, we're just gonna bend this out and down towards the left. Let's come down to the bottom left, go out and then up. In the center, bend this out towards the right. Move over and draw one more. Now we're gonna add some texture along the sides. Starting from the top, come down. And then from the edge of the hairline, we're gonna add a couple lines going up and out. Let's come down to the bottom and do the same thing. Add one from the tip. And then from the side of the head, working our way out. Let's add some texture to this spike. And then finally, we'll add some texture to the top. Start from the tip. And work our way from the bottom going up. Now, I wanna go back and add a little bit of detail to the side of the neck and the shoulders. Let's start from the jaw, then this out, and then down. Now from the bottom of the neck, we'll step up, bend the shoulders, going out and down. Now just underneath the chin, we're gonna add a curve for the collar. Start on the left side. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you wanna draw more characters like this, you might wanna check out this video over here. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.